news today. Mm. Oh. Andrea, it's Monday morning. Let's face yeah. it, some of us are <laughs> cut out to be Monday creatures. <laughs> and some of us are not. No <laughs> amount of easing into the day makes it any easier to leave the comfy covers in the morning, especially with these warm temperatures. Take a look at this. <laughs> oh, the eyes, the eyes. The, that look kills me. This is Eddie. He makes it known how he feels when it's time to rise and shine with a solid growl in his case. It's so dog, doggone hard to get the eight-year-old Yorkie mix moving in the mornings. So hard that mom Lisa Matuccino started documenting her daily battles with her tiny terror on TikTok. They've got quite the following at Eddie on Wheels, ranking up to 620,000 followers and 12.3 million likes. I feel exactly like Eddie does, even right now. <laughs> so, Jay, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but I even... Know. You gotta, like, slowly do it, too. You still get dipped at. <laughs> but even that look, like you said <laughs> earlier, it's, that's a warning. Yeah, yeah. That's a warning. Don't touch me. And it's so funny, because he's so little, little. and cute. You almost love to do it. <laughs> you called him perfect, Andrea, the tiny terror. <laughs> now, <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at what you can expect for today. Now, we're going to continue to see plenty of heat throughout much of the borderland. Here's a live look outside from one of our roof cams here at the station. You can see the sun is starting to come up, and usually when the sun comes up, we tend to see temperatures drop quite a bit, but it's only dropped by about a degree in El Paso, and it hasn't really moved at all in Las Cruces. We're going to continue to see some pretty warm conditions for this morning, so much so that we're going to be staying in the 70s up until your 8 a.m. hour. So we should see a slight decrease in temperatures, at least by a degree or two. So not a big difference expected, but we will be reaching 82 degrees by 9 a.m., nearing the 90s by 10. Now we've got high pressure continuing to build throughout much of the western part of the nation. We've got a high pressure system right here at the border of Arizona and New Mexico. As that continues to build, it's going to allow us to see some favorable conditions for above average highs. Now, a lot of that warmer air, not just coming from the high pressure system, but the fact that our air is so dry and we continue to see some warm westerly winds. And you got that desert sun beating down on it. It's just inevitable. You're going to see some pretty hot conditions, especially here in the borderland. 97 degrees expected in TRC, 98 Alamogordo and Las Cruces, 97 in Deming, 99 El Paso and Van Horn. If we do happen to surpass this expected high, which El Paso is pretty much known for, um, we could be seeing triple digits for today. And we're going to see some consecutive triple digits later this week. I'll have more details on that coming up. So we're going to take a look at your Paso under Golf Index for today. It is in an 8 as we're expecting to see calm conditions but hot temperatures. Summer is officially here now. Moving on to other news, a fight at Sierra Vista Mall led to a stabbing early Sunday evening. El Paso police say that two females were fighting and one stabbed the other. Now, the victim was transported to a local hospital, but police say that she has non-life-threatening injuries while others fled the scene. This is a developing story, and we're going to keep you updated as more information becomes available to the newsroom. And also, two people are seriously injured after a multi-vehicle collision that happened on Sunday morning in Northeast El Paso. Police say that five vehicles were involved in the collision at the intersection of Dyer Street and Gateway North Boulevard. Investigators say that one of the cars caught on fire and two individuals sustained life-threatening injuries. And President Biden responding to the May jobs report that shows the nation is experiencing steady growth in jobs as unemployment rates decline. KTSM 9 News reporter Aaron Coolahan had a White House one-on-one -on -one with Deputy White House Communications Director Kate Berner on what that means for the borderland. The Biden administration says that its economics plan is working at an impressive rate. It shows historic progress for American families and the American economy. We're experiencing a record economic recovery with record job growth and record wages. More than 25% of small businesses across Texas faced reduced employment during the pandemic. But the administration wants the borderland to know that help is on the way and is working. We hope that families in El Paso um, continue to be able to get back to work to get those vaccine shots and um, 
have a more normal and successful summer. To learn more about the jobs report and what it means for El Paso's economy, head to our website at KTSM.com. Aaron Coulihan, KTSM 9 News. It is 639 right now on this Monday morning. Kombucha, the fizzy fermented tea. I've never tried it before. I'll have to check it out. It's gaining a lot of popularity here in the Sun City, becoming one of the faster growing beverages at the moment. Louis Castorena, owner and founder of El Paso Madre Nostra Kombucha, began brewing kombucha at home along with a few other flavor combinations and began posting it all over social media where he started gaining fans. He now distributes his kombucha at different locations throughout El Paso and can be found at a farmer's market where he says that he's received a lot of support. El Paso did embrace us more than I actually expected at the beginning. Um, we started off doing like 15 gallons and then we just grew out of our space and we, we, we started doing like 150 gallons a month and then growing and now we're, we're close to about 550 gallons a month of kombucha. Castorina hopes to keep expanding and eventually getting into retail stores in the southwest region. El Paso Madre Nostra is located on Montana between Wedgwood and McRae. And a local store is helping a young girl collect donations for a fundraiser. Lily is only 16 years old and was diagnosed with LGS. That's a rare type of epilepsy that causes many seizures. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Drachler is live in the newsroom with the story. Good morning, Carla. 